welcome to the Canvas tutorial, figuring out how to find your outcomes. So, outcomes are another word for rubrics, which we should be attaching to our summative assessments for grading. After we've created our assignment in Canvas, what you're going to do is scroll down and look for the bottom left, there is a button that has a plus rubric. When we click on that, it is going to give you uh, a, a blank rubric. So we should title it our assignment name. We also then want to delete this particular row in the rubric. It will automatically default to put one row in the rubric and we want to make sure that's deleted because it is out of five points. What we're going to look for then is our outcomes. So we click the little looking glass that says find outcome. Now all of your course outcomes sh should be listed here in separate folders. So when we click on that on the folder, this is going to open up another series of folders. These should then be each of your buckets and how your outcomes are broken down. So the outcomes I'm currently looking at are for world language. So they have three buckets, interpersonal, interpretive, and presentational. For this particular assignment, it is going to only be interpretive. And I, I would say, sure, it's this particular rubric and then this one as well. If all of your outcomes are only coming from one bucket, you can leave the assignment in there one time. If the outcomes are in multiple buckets, then you will need to uh, post the assignment twice or three times, depending on how many buckets you're using. If you have any questions about this, please see your tech integrator. Otherwise, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks and have a great day.